Hello there everybody, Allied Cam one back with a little bit more uh, Command & Conquer's Red Alert. Here I'm starting on the remainder of the uh, Soviet mission. I just played the first one where we massacred a village full of people, very Stalin-esque. So we're going to continue into the next one. Uh, let's try for the north one. Oh, I don't even get a video briefing. Tomorrow the attack on Germany begins, but today we must protect our family from Allied attacks. Keep the command center intact at all costs and destroy any Allied fortifications you might find. Okay, so looks like this time I have some aircraft. Uh, some barracks, which I'm going to build. And... Okay, I'm actually going to queue these guys up as... Group 1 and Group 2. Uh, flame turrets might be good. Especially if this is a defense mission. The Soviets uh, have a lot of really good tech. I've been doing mostly the Allied playthrough, so I'm pretty pumped to see uh, the Soviets this time. I never did play a whole lot of them when I was younger. But uh, anyway, it should be pretty awesome. Oh. So, long as, so long as I don't do that. Uh, I shouldn't do that because I need the money for an ore refinery. Okay, let's get some scouting out in the meantime. I guess I should have really paid more attention to what I was spending money on. Brilliant. That was a real Einstein we had on our hands there. How about you guys? Go this way. I thought I made you group two. Okay, you come, you come back here, and you go up that way. Downside is all my power is uh, is down right now because of these. Uh, it makes it a lot longer time to actually build things. So, but this is only the second mission in the Soviet campaign, so I don't think there will be too much as far as uh, stress goes on actually building a bunch of stuff. So, I need you guys down here. Let's get another dog up here. Cool. Um, we will drop this. Yeah, I think right next to the ore field would be great. Yeah, I, I know it's insufficient funds. I still need to scout and see what's going on, but I, do, I sort of have a limited number of people, so I don't want to push my luck. Okay, I'm actually going to sell this right now to speed along the purchasing of a power plant. And I actually think that placing it in a better location would be who would be really good for me to do. All right, flame towers. This time I'll build one up here. Oh, there you go. I Considering how often I use the rocket guys to my advantage in my own playthroughs, uh, I'm surprised I didn't think about that, actually. The allies do have a lot of rocket guys. Uh, I'm going to send this dog up here to try to kill him, though. That's all I have is infantry and yaks. That means I better build a... fortify this whole place with flame turrets. Yeah, this is going to be rough if all I have is the Soviet cannon fodder. And, you know, these awesome, these awesome World War II era aircraft. The Soviets never threw anything out. Hmm. Okay, so let's get a little bit more information about what's to the south. It looks like that's the end of the map. So I'm not thinking it's going to be way too much. But you never do know. Let's build another power plant. More infantrymen and as many grenader grenadiers as we can get our hands on. So we're going to need to see where it is we're going. 
You know, this time I, I missed this, uh, I was annoyed about not having the Soviet technology when I was doing the Allied playthrough, but now I really kind of miss it. Unit ready. Experimenting. Unit ready. Oh, what's this over here? Is that their harvester? Did that just run away from me? Let's get the yaks to go check it out. And I'll drop a flame turret or two. And I will continue to build infantry. And then we'll just uh, send them all down to the south here. Unit ready. Yes, sir. Along with these dogs. Well. You come up here. And I'm going to drop this other flame tower up to the north because it looks like the south side is which way we're heading. So let's do that. Well. You know what's going to be annoying is, is that uh, their goddamn harvester is going to be able to crush my face. That is not something yes, I'm happy yes, about. Especially with how narrow this place is. I'm not going to be able to Okay. It's only at half health, so maybe I'll be okay. Okay, I don't want to be standing here when it starts rolling through here because it'll just crush everybody. Fortunately, Grenadiers do quite a bit of damage. They're actually one of the more annoying units in mass that I've ever ever had to fight. And these turrets are not going to do any good against me. And these uh, these these jeeps cannot run me over. So, so I think this is actually a pretty good win situation as far as I'm concerned. It's a good thing they didn't have any pillboxes or anything like that. But they do have a lot of turrets, so I'm actually going to just circumvent them. And continue to build grenadiers. All these guys are pretty low on health, but the uh, the Soviet army never bothered to learn how to build medics. So, oop, gotta gotta keep them from uh, trying to run me over. Get the axe in here, maybe they can do a little bit of damage. Let's all blow these things up. The the construction yard. I like it how they just have an infinite infinite supply of grenades. That'd be that'd be pretty awesome. Let's get you guys down here. I don't know it's to the north at this point, but I don't know if it's actually worthwhile to circumvent it. But I know that this way is clear. Build more. Can you guys kill this uh, harvester? I know it's like the worst place ever to pick a fight with one. Might as well just walk in here. Even as it appears on the Soviet side, they don't really have any uh, any initiative as far as destroying stuff goes. Oh, hey! Uh, reinforcements. They make this too easy. Kill it! <laughs> Throw more grenades at it! All you guys come here. Throw as throw all of the grenades. You guys come down here and destroy this thing. These uh, turrets. Yeah, that was that was too easy. Stalin, you're gonna have to step this uh, step this game up. Is that it? Man, guy should have tried to evade. Anyway.
All right, well, that was super easy. So my name has been AlliedCam1. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back shortly with uh, Mission 3 for the Soviet campaign.